Hello, precious people. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad and give thanks unto the Father, for he is good, and his mercy endures forever. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. All right, you guys. So um, today I'm going to discuss about um, my, um, I call it my Damascus Road. Um, I think all of us who who have rebelled from God and then come back to him have to go through um, a Damascus Road experience. Um, just like when Saul did on Damascus Road. That's what I'm referring to. When God um, knocked him off this horse and blinded him for three days into... Um, stop killing persecuting the christians which is what saul was doing so um my damascus road event when i rebelled um as i told y'all before when i was younger I, I stepped away from god um i had my own issues with with the religion as a box you know like christianity in a box you know and um that's the reason why i was i was susceptible to the influences of um the enemy and um, she charmed me into checking out other religions other um, mystics you know um, I've always been an empath they, we call it seer empath that what they call us I've always been there since birth God has blessed me with um, gifts that um, but um, I was vulnerable because I had no one to really teach me how to how to work it in the holy in the religious aspects of it and um, or they considered me a freak or weird so uh, when I found that sense of community with the mystics and new age you know and some of them, a lot of them were empaths too um, I just said okay you know and I rebelled from God and um, walked in that darkness for many years and then my Damascus Road event was when um, I was I went to go, I went to go to sleep and um, I had this dream and a um, well, vision I guess you could say and I woke up in my house and I went into my room. I was standing outside the door of my room. I had a I had a room specifically um, for spiritual stuff. I do meditation, chanting, um, sighing, um, invocations, you name it. That was my specific room. I called it like some people have altars in their room, altars in their house. I had an altar room. You know, that's how um, deep I was in to. Um, the dark arts and witchcraft and paganism and mysticism all on the, the shaman stuff at the time and um, so I opened the door and I looked in there and I saw somebody sitting there um, on the floor with the legs crossed and um, meditating and chanting stuff and I looked and I said who is that I mean the person looked at like they was like um, emancipated like they were skin and bones, their eyes looked all wrong. Um, they had sickness all over them, so they were doing some type of deep meditation to some demon, and um, some dark demon. I want to say Leviathan or um, Ecotech, but um, I kept looking at the person, and I realized, oh my God, that's me. Yeah, and I was. It was horrific. It scared me to the bone. So that was my come to my Damascus Road event. When I saw myself, what would have happened if I would have continued down the dark path? You know, fully let those demons and those um, them demons and those evil entities take full control of me, full possession, not just partial, like we usually do. You know, it's usually a full possession. So if I would let if I would have continued, God showed me in that vision dream that if I would have continued, I would have been um, fully possessed and soul lost and 
doing some very bad things <laughs> in the spirit realm and um, would have been catastrophic for me and my followings, my followers. So my circle, we call it. So yeah, that was my come to Jesus moment, my Damascus Road event. Um, then when I woke up that day, that morning in pure, pure sweat and I was full of stress and anxiety. I, I just cleared out everything that was demonic, everything that was um, not of God, and threw it in the trash. Mm -hmm. Out to the dumpster, a dumpster um, landfill and went. <laughs> and um, I, stepped, I, I stepped back into the fold. I repented. Uh, you know, I crucified his flesh. I cried out to God for forgiveness. Went two feet in instead of one foot in, one foot out. And um, then, like, a few months later, I got this heavy conviction to um, start posting stuff on YouTube. And um, that was shocking to me because I'm like, but I believe God wanted me to share all these visions and dreams that I've been experiencing, you know, because the, these gifts came from God. You know, I had these gifts long before I walked into the occult. Um, when I was a kid, I was having these visions and dreams, but I didn't have the guidance. I didn't have no one there that would lead me the right way. It's you know, I had my um, Monty Deborah, auntie, but she was um, was um, empath too. But she was deep into the occult. You know, that was my only influence I had at that time. And my mother, she was one too, but she. Um, she locked all hers away in a box. We call it lock away the gifts. She locked it away so she can be normal. So she wasn't no help at all. So when I found someone who could have helped, only problem is they was in the occult. So that, that was one of my influences to push me into mystics, into new age, into spirituality as well. So... Um, but you know, the Lord showed grace and mercy on me. And, um, even when I was rebelling, you know, I didn't know I really was, but I guess I was, I was rebelling hard. I didn't see it until after later on, after God knocked me off, the, off my road, knocked me off the road and um, brought me back how far gone I was. I was really, really gone. I was lost, you know, but, um, Luckily, by God's grace and mercy, and praying people in my friends and family, they brought me back. You know, God brought me back, I should say. God brought me back to his side of the team. And now I'm trying to be a force against the enemy. And after I came back to Christ, the, the attacks of the enemy was brutal. I mean, still is brutal. Still having demonic attacks, still seeing the demonic things trying to attack me in my sleep. Even though I'm pleading the blood of Jesus, I got the sword of the spirit, you know, the shield of faith, the armor of God. I'm still working it, you know, I'm still bowing them off because um, they wasn't, they wasn't suspecting me to, they expected me to die on their side of the team. That means I would have been burning in hell. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what they wanted. They wanted me to be a, a general for their team, for the evil. And that's what not God, what God wanted me to be. So that's why I spread the word of God. That's why God forced me into this YouTube. That's the way I can, I, can, I can describe it. Forced me to put my face on YouTube, telling people about my visions and dreams and what I have done and how I walked back, walked from God and how I came back to get back to his grace to be a warning to people out there, to the viewers out there that hears my voice, that... God loves you. God will forgive you. Ask him for forgiveness. Call on Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, and he will save you. Scripture said, for God loved this world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Believe that Jesus is the son of God. Believe in Jesus and you shall be saved. Your whole perception, your whole world will start changing once you start getting more into the word of God, 
praising him, worship him, and some of the, the things that you want to do, some of the bad things that you've been doing in the past, you don't want to do no more. It, it'll just lift off you. The Holy Spirit will come in you and start just cleaning away all the negative stuff in your life. It's just amazing. And you know that you'll be saved. You know that you know you're saved. You know that when you back when you sin, yeah, of course you sin. I mean, we all backslide, but there is forgiveness, there is repentance, there is grace, there is mercy to cover sin. So we have to believe that Jesus is. Get that close relationship with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That's all you have to do. Whew. All right, you guys. I'll talk to you later. God bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and give you peace is my prayer. All right, guys. God bless.